Well, welcome back, Night Navigators. I do hope that you have been able to practice at night when the sun goes down and the stars come out to look for Orion and Betel Goose. What a great name. So if you have not done that, if you have not done sequence one, then you need to stop this video right now because nothing will make any sense. You got to go back to the first sequence in our Night Navigator series. This is sequence two. So tonight, we are going to learn to identify probably one of the most popular constellations up in our sky. It is known as the Big Dipper, and it is very important. Also, you are going to learn how to identify the North Star, which is also known as Polaris. That's the star that you can follow and walk north. It's pretty amazing. People from centuries before us have used that star to navigate. So let's start looking up and learn about these wonderful constellations of the Big Dipper and Polaris. Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. This is sequence two of our Night Navigators series. Tonight, we are going to identify some very important things in the sky. Some of them you may actually recognize. The first thing we're going to identify is the Big Dipper, which is currently on your screen right now. The second thing we're going to identify is the star Polaris, also known as the North Star. It helps us to navigate in a northerly direction, which is super important. During this sequence of slides, I am going to ask you at times to cover up the right side of your screen. The right side gives us the answers to what we are trying to navigate on the left side, okay? Also, I'm going to ask if you want to pause this video at any time to give yourself more time to look at the left side to identify things, please do so. I want you to succeed and to feel successful in navigating the stars. All right, without further ado, here we go. So this picture right here is the Big Dipper, but it's missing many, many stars in the sky because I want you to identify what it is we're looking for. In the Big Dipper, we are looking for four stars which make the shape of the cup. Here they are. There is one, two, three, four stars. And in the handle, there are one, two, three stars. All right, so cover up the right side of your screen now. We're gonna do a little quiz. Okay, so in this big sky here, I would like for you to find the Big Dipper. What is it that we're looking for? First, we're looking for a handle, a handle that has three stars. Next, it will be attached to a cup that has one, two, three, four stars. I'm going to show it to you right now, okay? So the handle is right here, one, two, three. The cup is right here, one, two, three, four. If you remove your covering from the right side, you'll see that the answer is circled right there. All right, cover up the side again. All right, so here we go. Find the Big Dipper here. But remember, the sky rotates during the night. It does not stay still. Our sky moves in this direction. So, I would like for you to look for the Big Dipper. It's not going to look like it was on the previous page. Remember what we're looking for? We're looking for a handle with three stars and a cup with four. Did you find it? Remove the right side covering to see if you are correct. If you did not identify it correctly, you may want to stop this video and maybe go back to see what the previous page showed. Okay, I want you to be successful. I know you can do it. Let's continue. 
The Big Dipper has a very interesting feature, as you are about to find out. So it's important you can find it. And if you are unsure, you may want to go back over the last few pages. The two stars at the front of the cup part of the Big Dipper point to a star called Polaris. So let's look at that over here. Here is the handle, one, two, the cup, one, two, three, four. Two stars in front point to Polaris. Do you see that? Let's look over on this side to make it a little easier to see. Here it is, handle, one, two, three. Here is the cup, one, two, three, four. Two stars in front point to Polaris. And Polaris is interesting because the whole sky appears to rotate around this star. Actually, it's the Earth that rotates, but the effects are still the same. So this star looks as if it stays stationary, like it's stuck in the sky and it doesn't move while everything else around it does. A lot of people think Polaris is the brightest star in the sky, but it really isn't. In fact, it only just makes the top 50. All right, so get Polaris fixed in your head. Let's look at this right here. We're going to follow the Big Dipper. Here's the handle. One, two, three. Here is the cup. One, two, three, four. Two stars in front point to... Polaris, great job. How about on this side? Do you think you still have it? Let's walk it through. Do you see the handle to the Big Dipper? Good. Do you see the cup? Remember, the cup has one, two, three, four stars. Two stars in front point to Polaris. Let's continue. All right, cover up your right side of your screen. We are going to do some night navigating. I would like for you to find Polaris, but how do you find Polaris? You have to find the Big Dipper, correct. So first, look for the Big Dipper's handle. Next, look for the Big Dipper's cup. And the two stars in front point to Polaris. Did you get it correct? Let's look at the right side. Here we are. There's the handle. Three stars in the handle. There's four stars in the cup. Two stars point to Polaris. Exactly. Great job. Let's continue. If you know where Polaris is in the sky, you can figure out which way is north. So when you drive anywhere, if you look at a map, there is always directions to tell which way is north, south, east, and west. Imagine this symbol right here is the part of the sky directly over your head. Pretend there is a string that is attached to the top of your head all the way to the sky. Now let's trace a line from there to Polaris. Okay, this is the star Polaris. How do we know that's Polaris? Well, let's review. Here are the three stars, one, two, three, Here's the cup, one, two, three, four. Two stars point to Polaris, also known as the North Star. So during the American Civil War, this is how fugitive slaves found their escape to freedom. I choose to call them freedom seekers because these brave men, women, and children were seeking freedom, and they used this star, Polaris, to guide them to freedom. Polaris is the North Star. So now cover up your right side. 
You didn't see that, did ya? Okay, phew. All right, your turn. First, on this side, I want you to find the Big Dipper. Okay, remember this is what's attached to your head. Remember the string is attached for the top of your head all the way to the sky. So first find where is that Big Dipper? How do you look for the Big Dipper? You look for a handle and a cup. Do you see the handle? One, two, three stars. Do you see the cup? One, two, three, four. Okay, look on the right side. Did you get it correct? If you didn't, stop this video and review. If you got it correct, awesome. Let's go to the next slide. Now we're going to find Polaris. So here we are, one, two, three for the handle. One, two, three, four for the cup. Two stars point to Polaris. Okay, did you get it correct? There it is on this side, on the right side. Here we go to the next page, guys. You're doing fantastic. Cover up the right side. All right, so which of these four crosses is to the north? Hmm, all right, so we know where the Big Dipper is, correct? Here it is. We know where Polaris is, don't we? It's right here, because two stars point to Polaris. Polaris is closest to the direction of north. And if you look on the right-hand side, you will notice which circle or which X is circled. Okay, and if you didn't get it, take the time to go back and figure out why. Because I'm going to show you right here. Here's the handle, one, two, three. Here's the cup, one, two, three, four. Two stars point to Polaris. And the closest X means that this is north. All right, so here's a new piece of sky. Got to cover up the right-hand side if you haven't already done that. And I would like for you to find the Big Dipper. All right, so let's look for a handle. Let's look for one, two, three, four stars. Did you find it? Look to the right and see if you got it correct. Next slide. So, with identifying where the Big Dipper is, which way is north? How do we determine north? Polaris, North Star. So look for the handle. Look for the cup. Two stars point to Polaris. Which X is it closest to? Look to the right and see if you got the right answer. Excellent. Next slide. All right, we're doing it all over again. You guys can do this. So, which way is north now? What do we have to do first? We have to look for the Big Dipper. And how do you identify where the Big Dipper is? Look for the handle. Look for the cup. One, two, three, four stars. Two stars in front point to Polaris. And Polaris is closest to which X? Exactly. And that is north, my friends. Look to the right and see if you got it correct. Next slide. If you made it this far successfully, you are a night navigator. Congratulations. That's amazing. So this concludes our second section of our night navigator series. I would like for you to go outside tonight and I want you to practice what we just learned. 
I want you to practice where the Big Dipper is. I want you to practice where Polaris is. And then you can navigate where North is. All right. Our next time, we are going to talk about another constellation. And we're going to review everything we just learned. I am so proud of you, Night Navigators. Continue to look up, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.